I have a lot of people asking me what smart quantize is. What does that even mean? If we go up to the inspector here, you see that we have a choice of classic quantize or smart quantize. What I'm going to do is I'm going to choose myself a sound that has a natural glide to it. So that means if I hold a note and hit another note, it glides. And I'm just going to play like a little line here. So obviously there's a lot of gliding going on in there. I'm gonna open this up. Now you can see how I kind of like overlapped on some of the notes and some of the notes I didn't. If you use smart quantize, if you were to do a regular quantize, it would, sh it would shove the beginning of the note over and the length of the note would not really be taken into account. But when you do smart quantize, it actually takes the length of the note into account. So if I change it to 16th notes, we see that it did shove things in time, but if I choose classic quantize, you'll see that the actual ends of the notes have changed as well. And especially when, you, when you're using something like a portamento patch, you want to have your length be um, musically kept because your glide is going to be affected if you shove the note and all of a sudden it's not overlapping with another note. So in classic quantize, this is what it sounds like. So, you know, sometimes it triggers, sometimes it doesn't. If you get a smart quantize, it's much more like I played it. Yeah, it's still pretty similar, but that's how it works. It's basically taking into account not just the front end of the note, but it also is taking into account the back end of the note, which is pretty cool. Okay, so that's smart quantize. very much like to thank Pyramide for hosting me here once again. Um, I think this institution is really cool and until I came here for the first time I had never seen anything like it in my whole life. What I think really separates us from other people who teach is that we are outrageously passionate about what we do and especially in electronic music. Since, since coming to Pyramind I, I've discovered electronic music and you know San Francisco being a mecca for underground electronic music opened up so many doors for me and kind of blew my mind. We cover everything from absinthe to contact. When people get to the mind-melting level, uh, we get into modular synthesis. Everything about native instruments, everything about logic synths, down to the, the finest detail, we, we learned it all. The fundamentals of understanding how things work, that's just essential. But then beyond that, there's so much more, and that's where it gets into just a lot of, of the artistic side of like, the creative approach of, of why you do something, not just how. There's a lot of schools that just, you know, they focus on the technicality of, of recording music, um, but I wanted something that would foster creativity and, and really help me develop as an artist as well. Each of our genre-specific programs comes in four levels. There's a basic, an advanced, a professional, and then a master's level. And the master's level is, of course, everything we do. It's the largest and most powerful programs that we can create for you.